Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. Today we're going to be showing you how to load the Aura config file for your FT Aura 5. Now, if you guys haven't heard of the FT Aura 5 before, it's basically this little control board right here. Now, the cool thing about this is you don't need any computer at all to be able to get a lot of the benefits out of this board. But if you really want to push the limits on what it can do and also get cool features like custom configuration for differential thrust, some mixes, some tunes, some advanced settings, you will need something called the Aura config tool. Now, the nice thing about this is we not only are going to show you how to do this in the video, but we're also going to lead you through what's on our landing page for the FT Aura 5. Keep in mind, if you have any kind of virus protection or firewalls, you may have to turn those off. And also, if you're using Windows XP or Windows 10, you're going to have to kind of force this and say, load anyway, load anyway, because the different firewall blockers and different protection devices on your computer may tell you not to do that. But we're going to walk you through that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to flighttest.com slash FT Aura 5 and there's our landing page. So you're gonna notice when we load the FT Aura 5 uh, landing page here that all of our videos are gonna be loaded on that. That's gonna be really useful for you, especially if you wanna follow along, kind of have a refresher. But along with that, we will also have written content for you to be able to follow along, just like our driver tool here. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll that down past the, uh, the videos, and I'm gonna go to where it says configuration. Now the first step we're gonna be doing is download the configuration file, and you're gonna see the link right there. So click on this download link, we're gonna do that. Boom, she's downloading right now. This is gonna take a little while depending on how fast your internet's uh, going. Ours is downloaded now, and we're gonna go ahead and open it up. At this point, it's given us a little warning window saying that the, uh, the publisher couldn't be verified and asking us if we wanna continue. We're gonna go ahead and hit run. All right. Again, this is popping up another window saying, you know, Windows Defender is wondering if we still wanna run this. We're gonna go ahead and hit install. There we go. Again, it's popping up a window saying it can't be verified. Do we wanna run? We're gonna say yes. And we're good. Now at this point, our config tool is opened up and it's also gonna give us the option saying, do you wanna load the drivers? It's really important that you say yes, you do and load those drivers. So we're gonna go ahead and hit yes. And it says Aura has detected you're using a Windows 8 or newer. Is that correct? We're gonna hit yes. And now we're gonna get a message saying that they found the drivers and it's gonna ask us if we wanna install the required drivers and of course we're gonna say yes. Now a new window is gonna pop up here that's just gonna be your installation wizard for your drivers and we're gonna go ahead and hit next through those. It's gonna give us our location file, I'm happy with that. We'll hit finish and we're now getting a follow-up message saying that all the drivers are now installed. At this point, let's go ahead and take our Aura board and we'll plug in our USB cord. Now you're gonna notice that we're getting a solid blue light. That's a good sign. That means that the board's getting power. Our next step is to hit the connect button. And there we have it. Now this is a little bit different because you're not gonna see a board kind of floating in the middle of uh, your screen, but you are gonna notice that when you move this around, you're gonna see under the Aura sensor monitor that it's actually moving around. And that's a good indicator that everything's talking here. And we're also getting a message right now saying we've successfully connected to the Aura port. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. Just to confirm everything's working good, we're gonna go ahead and hit read from Aura. And that's now where this is going to go ahead and contact the Aura and pull the information from the Aura board and display it for you. And then it says read from Aura complete, we're gonna hit okay. At this point, our Aura config tool is successfully on our computer and it's connected to our control board and talking successfully. Now we're ready to use a lot of these really great features like our Aura configuration wizard, but that's for another video. Friends, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you so much for being part of the Flight Test family. Please feel free to check out the additional videos on this, and we'll see you next time.